Hello again, my name is Damian from Wetcom and this is the first of three videos about uh, networking services that you can self-manage with Virialize Automation Console. For these demos I will use the same lab as you can see in this diagram. We are here, this is my network and uh, this router uh, isolate our lab environment and we will be using this lab okay uh, which is managed by uh, VRealize Automation as you can see in, in this console and uh, let me show you the destination NAT uh, self-service imagine that this network is a public one, let's say the internet and behind this router which has some additional IPs uh, we have two networks DMZ and app. For this demo we will focus on this machine which is a Linux server with Apache and this one which is a Windows server. So, uh, at the moment, I cannot reach any of these servers from my computer. So, let's create a DNAT rule. So, let's go to catalog and networking and create DNAT rule. Description Apache 01 original address. This are the additional IPs of the router. The workflow detect them and present in, in the drop down. Let's choose this one. The translate address 268.24. The protocol is TCP. I can choose any of those and any port I don't need this I need only the 80 but uh, the original port could be anyone so let's just do two or two but before I submit this form let's check what's on the on, on this IP right so in this IP on this port nothing responds because there's no service in there, right? So stop this and now we'll submit the, the form and we can see the the progress of the request here. This is very very fast. Uh, I think it takes less than 20 seconds. That's it. In the items tab, in networking category, here is our destination NAT object. Right? You can see the details with, with the description, the, the original address, okay, the, the rest of the configuration. Right? And now this must be working. Let's see. Oh, sorry. This right. I have my Apache web server here. Okay. Of course, if I go back, select the DNAT rule, and delete the DNAT rule. Again, this must be quick let's see okay I think this already finished so let's check refresh and of course the page is no more loading because we delete the the DNAT rule okay this must be complete and our item is gone right Okay, let me show you 
Uh, something else. Okay. Um, let's create a new DNAT rule. This time I will publish the whole Windows server 205. Let's pick first IP, translate IP. And instead of TCP, let me choose any. Any protocol means any port. Okay? But before submit, let me show you. Let's ping the server. And this must fail. Okay? Let's. Okay. Okay, so bit the form. And again, we can see the progress here. Again, it must be very fast. But in this case, I guess we can see something here, right? Okay. We get a response. So the DNAT rule is already created. Let's see. Here is the public IP, the protocol, the port. And this is a Windows server, so I can reach out with remote desktop. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see, connect, and here is my remote desktop is working because of the DNAT rule. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.